Braden Seymour. Uh, he's in almost all pink, so he's going to be easy to spot. Oh, he's out there in lane one. Yep. <laughs> we got Seymour here. Uh, I was told, well, we have a few J. Sarah athletes in here as well. Alden Morales is a freshman, and he ran 423 recently. So That's extremely impressive. That's <laughs> much faster than I ran as a freshman. What was your freshman time? I think I ran unofficially like 424 or something. So it was good, but 421 is very, very fast. Yeah, 423 to start oh, out the yeah. year. Start like that's. I was told that they're aiming for sub 420 tonight too, so we'll see. I think it's very much in the books if – if these guys are, are fit like they say they are, it's going to be a great race. And here we go. There's your man out front. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't lead the entire thing, but let's see. Seymour from Newberry Park High School here. And we'll get splits on him soon, but they're coming up to the first lap, and he's got a race on his hands. So right about 60. That's exactly where they want to be for that first lap. It's it's quick. It's a quick pace, but it allows them to settle in a little bit. So, it yeah, and they're gonna so 60 settling in. What do you settle in off of a 60 with here? For what the top guys are trying to go, if they're pacing it for probably around a 4:10, which is what it seems like they want to do, I would say they're probably gonna settle in this this lap maybe 64, the next lap maybe 65. If if they're hurting like someone who's gonna run a 4:10, if they don't do that, then it means they're probably feeling a lot better, and maybe they'll go to like a 63, then a 64, and then close in a 59 or 60. I mean, the guys have been closing pretty fast lately. That's a that's a new thing as well. Uh, sub 60 is not an outlier to close in anymore. No, in fact, if you can close sub 60, it's it's really rewarding because it takes off a couple seconds from that pace, and it feels feels very motivating. Yeah, anything under 60 is money in the bank. Absolutely. But we got Braden Seymour coming up here to half mile, and he's got Emmanuel Perez on his shoulder. So right about 204, so 64. Okay, that's perfectly where they want to be. So I, I would guess that they probably do this next lap in a 65 and then close, and that would be perfect. What do you think that Seymour's thinking right here? He knows that he's got Perez on his shoulder. Is he slowing it down a little bit on that second lap, or is he trying to crank it on, on Perez here? No, I think he's keeping the pressure going. It's it's a mile, so there's not too much time to think. Currently, he's probably just focusing on each foot, each stride, one by one, and just trying to stay strong. Because that third lap, as most milers know, is the hardest lap. It is. So this is this is where the race is is made right here. Absolutely. It, people drop off. People fall. But if you stay strong mentally, that's the big thing. You can have a phenomenal race. And we could even see somebody creep up from that second pack. So we've got a two-man race up front with a good gap, but back, it looked like Gabriel Castillo of Etiwanda High School was, was pacing that second pack. But here, one lap to go. This is a bell lap. What are they coming through at? There's the bell and 309. So like you said, they can get some change back if they get under 60 here. Absolutely. I th it's looking like they're picking up the pace. Their turnover's getting quicker. I think Anywhere from 62 to 59 would be amazing right now. And it's been Seymour and Perez this whole time exactly here. They're attached at the hip. Perez looks like he wants to start making a move, but I don't know if Seymour's going to let him yet. We'll see. We can't see from this angle. Right now, holding him off on the side around the turn is tactically probably the smarter thing he can do. That was right about a 30-31 for that 200. So we'll see what this one is here. But this is the race right here. What are, you, what are you thinking if you're Seymour right here? If I'm Seymour, I'm just focusing. I got tunnel vision. I'm looking at that finish line, putting every last ounce of energy on more moving forward. There's the crazy arms there. Here it is. Seymour. It's Seymour. It's Perez. Neck and neck. Who's going to take it? Oh. oh, man. It looked like it was Perez there. <laughs> Seymour doing all the work in that race, too. That was a thriller. How does that make you feel? A little sad for Seymour, knowing how much work he put in, but also that was a very smart race by Perez. So Fired up, too. How yeah. do you like watching something like that? Oh, that was amazing. I mean, you feel, you get the energy. I mean, my, if I had my watch on, my heart rate's probably up to like 130 maybe. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just smelling the track gets it up.